MMA Boxing Talk here. This is a post-fight video for Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor. Um, still, what everyone's talking about, the fight, it really delivered. Um, it was the perfect, perfect outcome, in my opinion. Because, for one, boxing, if Conor McGregor would have won... Um, boxing would have lost its, some of its credibility, you know, that's just the way it is. Um, but boxing did not lose any credibility. And I'm not a Floyd Mayweather fan, I'm actually, I dislike Floyd Mayweather very much, and, um, but I have to give him credit. He came out and actually fought. He didn't just stay in his defensive shell for 12 rounds and pot shot and, you know, make it boring. He made it interesting he pushed the pace. He set a pace that was just too high for Conor McGregor to deal with. And, you know, Conor clearly won three, four rounds. I mean, I had him winning one and two. The third, it was a toss-up. Conor could have won it. Uh, the fourth, I gave it to Conor. And, and Conor, I can't remember which round, but somewhere around six or seven or eight, I thought he won a round there. But, um... Connor is known for gassing. Um, I don't know if he would have gassed, um, gassed fully like he did if Floyd wouldn't have put that pace on him. Um, and I think because Floyd put that pace and was walking him down, being aggressive, I think that's a good reason why Connor McGregor won some rounds. Um, but Floyd wasn't going to stop Connor if he didn't put that pace on. I really believe that. So, you know, anyway, this fight was so awesome because, like I said, boxing doesn't lose any credibility. The fans won. We got our money's worth. Um, you know, it, it's perfect. It, it was perfect. It was an exciting fight. Um, I was just thrilled. We got to see Connor, you know, land some, some nice shots on Floyd. Floyd was really landing crazy shots on Connor later on. I mean, but Connor has one heck of a chin. I mean, he was dead tired, and Floyd was landing with precision bombs. Precision bombs! And Connor, I mean, he, he just won't go down. He, um, I didn't get to, I was at the bar to watch it, so I didn't really hear the commentator, commentators. Um, my cousin watched it at home. He was telling me that, you know, the, um, the commentators were, were impressed with Connor, and they were, um, you know, they, they were actually really bashing Floyd. When he'd turn his back or, you know, he'd put his head down. Um, of course, Paul, and, Paul and Malignaggi is going to take his side. I mean, um, it's, his little, it's his boyfriend pretty well. So, uh, but anyway, I mean, but apparently I got to rewatch the fight um, and try to get the, the Showtime audio so I can hear, you know, I guess all the guys on the panel were saying, you know, what the, heck, what the heck's Floyd doing? They were really bashing him, except for Pauly. So I want to watch that. Um... And I guess they were they were impressed with Connor switching stances during combinations. Um, anyway, I just loved the fight. I thought it was like I said the perfect outcome. Um, now you know boxing doesn't lose its credibility, like I've said already twice in this video. But MMA gets their biggest star back, um, or so I think. I mean, Connor's not going to have another boxing match. Not next, anyway. I mean, he's going to come back, and I'm, I'm more than certain he's going to fight Nate Diaz in a trilogy, December 30th, the day before New Year's Eve, um, I mean, that will be perfect. And I truly believe that that, uh, that fight will break UFC pay-per-view record. I think Nate or Connor versus Nate 3 um, will do 2 million pay-per-view buys at least. I really think that. Connor's gained a lot of fans um, just through this fight. You know, if you look at his Instagram, I mean, and I don't know how... You know, I don't know how Instagram translates to pay-per-view buys, but it can't hurt. <laughs> and Connor all of a sudden has like a, over a million followers more than Floyd. I mean, nobody knew who the hell this guy was four years ago. He collected a welfare check four years ago. Uh, I mean, what a, what a story. Uh, but, but yeah, Nate Diaz, Connor McGregor trilogy, December 30th. I'm almost certain that's what's going to happen. Um, that'll be such a big card. And, um, you know, Khabib... I don't know, like, they'd have to put something in the contract. For Khabib to fight Connor, he'd have to get, like, ridiculously fined uh, lots of money if Khabib pulls out because Connor's going to want a little bit of a security. So, you know, if Khabib happens to pull out, he gets fined, um, I don't know, half a million dollars or something crazy like that uh, to make sure he gets there, whether he's 100% or not, 
you know. Um, so I don't know if I don't see that fight happening. Um, obviously, like I said, Nate will be next. Um, I mean, Holloway is an interesting fight. I, I think Holloway, if he gets past Frankie Edgar, um, and then maybe moves up or has a super fight, but when they fight, it, it'll be at 155, you know. Um, uh, Holloway will have to move up, which he can definitely do. He's got the frame for it. He's, he's taller than Connor. So, I mean, that's no issue. Um, but, uh, and, and you know, I, I've said it from day one. I really think the toughest fight for Connor at 155 is Tony Ferguson. I mean, the guy's got a heck of a chin. Um, his jiu-jitsu is, is phenomenal. He's very funky. He's very awkward in there. And he's a, he has amazing cardio. Nate Diaz cardio. But he's got more tools on the feet. Um, and I mean, that's just, I think that's Connor's toughest test. Where I think Connor goes out there and knocks Khabib out in the first few minutes. I mean, maybe he won't. Maybe he won't. But I mean, Michael Johnson's a southpaw. Not half the striker Connor is. And he was landing on Khabib. The first two minutes of that fight, it's all Michael Johnson landing on Khabib. I, I just I just don't see Connor. Uh, I don't see, see Khabib getting out of the first round against Connor. I really don't. Um, but anyway, it's very interesting. Not sure what's going to happen next, but um, like after Nate Diaz trilogy, you know, I'm not sure. But uh, I definitely want to see Max Holloway fight Connor eventually. I know people, you know, when I post that on Instagram, whatever, they, they shit on it and they say, you know, well, he got destroyed in their first fight. Well, Max Holloway was 21 years old. And yes, Connor's improved a lot since then and Holloway too, but Max Holloway wasn't even a full-grown man at the time. And, you know, look at how far he's gone. He, he's he got a... It'll be a great fight. It's a stand-up fight. Holloway's great with distance and footwork. And he's a, he does the little things so well. And um, I think that'd be a tough fight for Connor too. So, I, I mean, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. I just hope nothing like a Pauli Malignaggi fight happens. You know, I would just be... I would lose my shit. But the UFC's going to have to pay... Connor, big, big bucks now, um, you know, big, big bucks, $50 million, I don't know what it is, but, but I mean, uh, especially for the Nate trilogy, I mean, Connor's gonna make 50, no problem, I, I think he made 20 million for the, the rematch, so, I mean, after, after all this, he's gonna make 50 million, or maybe more, who friggin' knows, but anyway, I do think that fight breaks pay-per-view record, I think it does 2 million buys, I just wanted to give my little take here. I'll probably put out another video in a couple days uh, once I watch the uh, rewatch the fight again. Give my official scorecards because I was at the bar and you know it's tough to score a fight legitimately the first time you watch it. But another interesting thing, yeah, actually I'll save that one for the next video. That's it for this one. If you like the video, subscribe. Check me out on Twitter at MMA Boxing Talk One. Peace.